Today, I want to show you how you can upgrade your Windows 10 PC to Windows 11, even if your processor is not officially supported. Windows 11 requires that you have an 8th generation or newer Intel processor. You also need TPM 2.0. But what if you don't have those? Well, if you try to upgrade, you'll see an error message that looks like this. Basically, you need a fairly new PC to be able to run Windows 11. So what if your PC doesn't qualify? Well, you have two different options. One, you could just continue running Windows 10 for another four years through October 2025. Or alternatively, you can live life on the edge and you can follow Microsoft's official workaround for bypassing the CPU and the TPM checks. And in a moment, we'll walk through that guidance. But wait, Microsoft has an official workaround? Why would they do that? It turns out lots of business customers want to evaluate Windows 11, but they just don't have qualifying hardware in place. Now, one caveat before we jump into this, doing these steps is at your own risk. And Microsoft has even stated that you may not get security updates in the future if you follow this workaround. Now, whether that's an empty threat or if Microsoft will actually follow through on that, it's hard to tell. My recommendation, if you have an older PC that maybe you don't care quite as much about, sure, feel free to upgrade it to Windows 11. If you have a mission critical device that you rely on, I would hold off on upgrading until we see whether Microsoft will actually follow through on not providing security updates. To install Windows 11 on an unsupported device, head to the following website. I've also included a link right up above and down below in the description. On this website, scroll down to the bottom option where you can download an ISO for Windows 11. Here, select Windows 11, then click on Download. Next, you'll have to select a language, then click on Confirm. It'll be about a 5.1 gigabyte file. While the file is downloading, we need to make one simple change to the registry. To open up the registry editor, go down to the search field on your taskbar and then type in registry editor. Next, click on the best match option. Within the editor, we need to navigate to a specific location. I've included this location in the description. You can simply go there and copy this value then paste it into this location field. Now that we're in the correct location, over on the right hand side, check if you already have a value for allow upgrades with unsupported TPM or CPU. If you don't have this yet, that's okay. Simply right click and pick new D word 32 bit value. Name the value, allow upgrades with unsupported TPM or CPU, just like what I entered here on the screen. Next, double click on the new value that you just created and enter one into the value data field. Next, click OK and close the registry editor. And that was all we had to change in the registry. And that was actually pretty easy. Once your ISO finishes downloading, double click on the file to mount it. Within the ISO, you'll find a file titled setup. Click on that and that'll kick off the Windows 11 install process. And you should now find that you're able to successfully install Windows 11. Let's say you install Windows 11, but you prefer Windows 10. Within a 10 day period, you can still revert back to Windows 10. On Windows 11, click on your start menu and select settings. Then click on system, then select recovery. And here you'll see the option to go back. But just keep in mind, you only have 10 days to do this before Windows 11 wipes out all of the go back files. All right, well, hopefully you were able to successfully install Windows 11. To watch more videos with the best tips and tricks on Windows 11, check out the playlist right up above. Please consider subscribing and I'll see you next time.